In this lesson, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step to plant a terracotta pot with arugula seed. So let's get started, or I should say, let's dig in. Um, so this terracotta, terracotta pot is just about one foot in diameter, not quite, but almost there. And it's just about one foot in depth as well. So that means my plants are gonna have a good bit of depth to reach down into and uh, gonna be able to stretch out as they need more water. Keeping in mind that terracotta pots do need a good bit of maintenance, so I'm gonna need to be watching after these um, plants as I grow them. So for this project, we're gonna have a terracotta pot with a drainage hole and um, a little base plate to go with it. Then we also need some weed barrier cloth and some scissors. We're also gonna have our custom uh, salad garden school soil mix and then we have a little dibber to help us space out our seeds and then finally i'm planting arugula rocket salad seeds and these are from botanical interests and uh, they're 30 to 45 days that's the the promise of the seeds here so let's get started so the first easiest thing we're going to do is just take our weed barrier cloth and cut a little square to put down into the pot the reason we do this is just to make sure that we get to keep all the nutrients of our garden blend soil in the pot and that it doesn't end up draining out every time the pot is watered or we end up um, having rain or something like that. So generally you just need a big enough piece of weed barrier cloth to cover the drainage hole. That's all that's necessary. So I'm just going to take my pot and just slide this down right in the base of the pot like that. And now we're good and covered. And I know that even though water can drain through that hole, I'm not gonna be using, losing my soil as it drains. All right, now we're just gonna take our soil blend and move it into the pot. There's nothing super special about this. We're just literally gonna fill up the pot to about, um, I would say seven eighths. So because we're growing these um, these seeds, these plants from seed, we really don't need a lot of space left in the pot. Now, if I was growing this from plant, then I would probably leave, I would only fill the pot to about three quarters full, uh, but because I'm gonna be planting from seed, then I don't have to do that. So let me see how fast I can get this full of soil. A good thing to do before you start to plant All right, so we've got our pot full of soil. You can see I pretty much filled it almost to the brim. That's a little bit more than seven eighths. I think that's more like 99 one hundredths, right? <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna kind of pat this and make sure the soil is nice and level. In fact, this is a good time to use our little dibber tool. I'm gonna use a flat side of this just to flatten out the soil and make sure there aren't un level parts. Is unlevel a word? I'm not sure. But um, parts of the soil that aren't level because um, what you want is you want your seeds to have really good contact with the soil. They're not going to be going very deep into the soil and you also don't want them to slide or move around. So what can happen is if your soil is kind of at a slope then your seeds will slide too. All right so now I'm just going to take this little dibber and I'm going to make some simple indentations into the pot. Now, keeping in mind with arugula seed, it's very shallowly planted seed. So I am just gonna barely, I'm not pushing these all the way down because that would be much too deep for arugula. So I'm gonna start on the edge and just barely press like this, making marks where I'm gonna plant all along. So I'm just skipping a little bit of space in between each time and marking where I'm gonna plant each of my seeds ahead of time. All right, so can you see those little holes I've got? Now they're actually all a little bit too deep for what I'm gonna be doing, but they're gonna at least give me a little marker. Now I'm gonna take my arugula seed and first put it into my hand because the seeds are so tiny that if I were to drop them directly into the hole, they're just gonna kinda of get lost. So I always move the seed first to my hand. And even though I only emptied a part of the package, 
um, I still probably got too many. So now I'm gonna go to each hole and I'm gonna almost cover it up a little bit. I'm gonna pinch a couple of seeds and place them in each little hole. So it's pretty impossible to only put in one or two seeds in a hole. Uh, so you just kind of do your best and then you can come back and thin. Now I'm not gonna cover any of my seeds up as I plant because what can happen is you forget which holes you've planted in. So what I like to do is leave all of them open and visible as I plant and then I can go back and cover up when I'm finished. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm planting about two seeds per little indention there. And that's gonna mean that my seeds are really nicely spaced. I know that this right now can feel a little annoying and um, like really you're taking this much time to space out your seeds. But I promise what will happen is you'll end up with much more healthy plants and it's not as much of a pain to come back and thin them later because you're either going to do it now or you'll do it later. So might as well do it at the beginning, right? What's that saying? Like, you know, prevention, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure or something like that. I don't know. Something about do the right thing at the beginning and then you'll be good to go. So, um, so I think I've got them all planted. So this is a good point where a good reason why I like to leave them all visible so that right now I can double check and make sure they've all been planted. So you can still somewhat see my little indentations and they're so tiny, you're not gonna be able to see the seeds, but I promise you that they're there, okay? So now all I'm gonna do is take this and I am just going to gently pat it. Just give it a nice little pat. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of my soil blend and literally just sprinkle it over it. It's kind of like, you know, a little bit of pixie dust basically. So you just want a little, little bit of coverage over the seeds, not too much. And then my next step is just to gently water this in and put it in a nice kind of semi sunny space. I don't want it in super tons of sun because I don't want them to, you know, get too much heat, but they definitely need some sun to sprout. So then I just double check the package to know what I need to be looking for. So it says that it takes 10 to 15 days to emerge and um, that I should have planted at one fourth inch seed depth. So I did really well keeping it right on the top of the soil. And then maturity is gonna be 30 to 45 days. So I can just mark right now what day I've planted and expect that in 30 days, I'm gonna be starting to harvest some arugula. Pretty exciting, don't you think? All right, that concludes this lesson. This is all you have to do to get started. The simplest little salad garden possible just a terracotta pot and some arugula seed. I hope you feel inspired to get planting. Arugula is one of the simplest, easiest salad garden greens to grow, and I know you can do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.